But here in Malta, in Sijiwi, we are having a petrol station in the middle of the square. Look at my chairs. Going to the gym, it shows off. <laughs> So guys, this is even my first time to go to Sijiwi and to explore how Sijiwi looks like. I did quite a lot of Google research before I even head over to Sijiwi so that I can give you some nice area, I mean show you some nice area and at the same time give you some historical important things that you need to know about Malta, specifically about Sijiwi. Now I also wanted to show you the connection from the place where I live, Zuri, towards Sijiwi. It's a 10 minutes drive, but it's through the countryside. Have a look at the road. Very cinematic. On the left side we have the cactus and on the right side we have the Maltese stone fences. Of course, trust trucks passing by, normal cars and off to Sijiwi. Third exit. Okay, so I think, guys, we are entering Vidiko. Jesus Christ. So, welcome to Malta. So, we are entering in Sijiwi, and first thought on the right, I'm seeing a new building. On the left, I'm seeing an old building. So, that means that Sijiwi has been affected from construction and as, as every other place in Malta. So, first impression. I love their streets, look how picturesque this looks like, the typical Maltese traditional villages. As you've seen my previous video of Zuri, this kind of resembles to Zuri. Let's see, I'm kind of lost, this is my first time being here, so I don't know the roads, I don't know where to go, I don't know where am I, stress! And as in every other video guys, you know that I'm always trying to show you the bus stops that uh, we have around Malta. So specifically here in Sijiwi, I found this which... Wait, let the bus pass. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right in Maltese or no, it's either Hesri or it's only Esri, I don't know. However, I'm seeing that Sijiwi has connections towards Valletta, Bahria, Rabat and Mater Dei from here. Anyway, we are off to the center of the city. I want you guys to see the church of Sijiwi. And then we're gonna explore the old part of Sijiwi and we're gonna find the new part. And then I'm gonna take you in the outskirts of Sijiwi to see something very historical. Let's go. But the first stop before we get next to the church, I wanted you to see and have a better look of the traditional Maltese doors and the signs that they put on the other side, we have another one. Wheel Vintage! On the other side, we have another one. New look by Katrin. Apparently, this is a hair salon, something like that. I'm 100% sure that in this place, there are only Maltese people going there. <laughs> I'm fitted! I am like born for this house. Look at that. Ta -da! Car is coming. Bigger. No, it's a bit bigger this. No, it's a bit bigger. Trying to fit on all these doors. We are beside the church, guys, but I fell in love with the view from here. Very, very picturesque. <gasps> Even with the birds making noises. Wow. And, of course, the Maltese balcony. I wanted to give you my opinion about Malta for people with disabilities. What I have noticed, especially in the countryside, in the villages around Malta, they are more equipped when it comes to access for people with disabilities rather than the bigger cities like Sliema and St. Julian's. For example, this is the church. As I can see, and well done to the local council here, what they did. They did a nice railing, a nice path so that people with their wheelchairs can go inside. As well, we can see that there is already a parking here for people that are having the blue badge. But also on the other side, I'm seeing that there is somebody that apparently bought this place and he has the blue badge and is reserved for them, which is excellent. Now let's move and I want you to see the front of this beautiful church in Sijiwi. So beautiful, the way they have combined this color scheme, the off-white beige kind of tone with some grayish, I don't know, in, with these white edges and that blue color, stunning. 
And then up on top we have the Maltese limestone. The balcony looks brand new and the white railing, wow, so picturesque. Whoever is living in this house and is watching this video, call me. I'm fun when you are making barbecues. Thanks. <laughs> I'm giving you like 180 of the square. It's better if I give you 180 degrees with the back camera so that you can see how everything looks like. We have this Marilus restaurant on this side. There is another restaurant down there. We have the statue, I think that's St. Nicholas. We'll discover that in a minute. And we have another pasticceria maybe there. No, Ah, this is like a convenience store, okay? A house for sale and another one that apparently was refurbished in the past five years max. Let's use the fish lens so that you can see the entire church. So this is a Roman Catholic church, guys. St. Nicholas Church in Sijiwi that was founded in the 17th century, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to insert on the side of the screen from Google on Wikipedia, what does it say about this church so that you can get more information about it. However, in real life, it's beautiful. I'm still here and I'm enjoying the view. You know, when you go in uh, European countries and you're going to cities and you're going next to the square, you're expecting to find shopping malls, you're expecting to find some history, you're expecting to find something like coffee shops and stuff. But here in Malta, in Sijiwi, we are having a petrol station in the middle of the square. I'm loving it. So far, I would rate 10 out of 10 for Sijiwi, honestly. I give 10 out of 10 for Azzurri, I give 10 out of 10 uh, for Rendi, but now I'm giving 10 out of 10 to Sijiwi as well. And they are all in the same area, they're like neighboring villages. At the end of the video, guys, I'm gonna give you the top three. How are they going? Who's going to be? Alex is in Malta. Number one, Madonna, Madonna, off camera, the best and the most interesting things are happening. A local lady, she just stopped and she said, guys, if you would like to have the best view of the square, go on the rooftop of the Marelli restaurant. Let's go and ask if they can allow us and let's show you the square from the rooftop. Amazing, they allowed us to record. Let me see what there is on this side, this is... So first of all, this is the female toilet with female names. Male toilet with male names. Look at that. So you can sit here and you can just go on the balcony and enjoy the view of the square. Okay, so from here we are going up to the rooftop. Let's see, they have a little tea garden area. Let's see how this view is going to impress Alex in Malta. <laughs> this is huge. So big, a lot of spaces. The church is just right next to us. Wow. I think I'm gonna buy one of those sofas over there and move in. There is a space for my luggage there. We'll put a wardrobe. So beautiful. I need to take a minute and tell you something extremely important, guys. I used to live in Dubai and I've spent four years of my life there. And I've seen everything. I've seen modern things, I've seen rich things, I've seen anything that you would not find it anywhere else in the world. So for me nowadays, something to impress me, it should be something vintage, something from history, something that is related to history. Things such as this. This type of architecture can impress me. St. Julian's or Sliema, they do not impress me at all because there is everything modern there. I've seen all of that in Dubai, but this, this is something that it really takes my breath away. Especially when I see the way, let's say about this church in particular, how it is built. For me, it's insane just to think about it back in the days when this was founded created and designed by the people of malta back in the days what kind of machinery were they using to make shapes of the stone which is so hard to create something like this honestly yay don't tell me those pastizzi how cute so these are homemade 
Thank you. And this is our special pastizzo because it's with beef chips, ricotta, and peas. Peas, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. What is the amazing? <sighs> that was such an experience, and that restaurant deserved my unpaid sponsorship. <laughs> I was impressed. I was impressed with the service, with the food, with the view, with the decor, with everything. Now let's continue and wander around the beautiful streets of Sijiri. I'm still impressed. Let's see here on the left what we're gonna find. Oh, as I can see, it's very clean as well. Aha, uh -huh. I spot something. Ta -da. Beautiful. Another beautiful area to walk by and oh, refurbishment. <gasps> Oops, he's <laughs> Wow, we got a glimpse of a house of character that is being under refurbishment with that massive pool inside in the middle. So see, once these beautiful Maltese doors are opened, quite impressive things are inside. Always, when you see that there is some type of uh, road works, that means we are approaching to an area where, of course, you're gonna find new builds as well. So, CGV, it is also touched by the construction in Malta. I wanted to take a moment here and show you a contrast from this to this. How it used to be back in the days and how it is now and how it's going to be for the future generations. I think this might be very important for some of you guys, but there is a library here in Sijiwi. So you can fit, but me no. So far, I haven't seen any normal these people around here, but I've seen that they do have shops, they do have hair salons, there was like one, I think it was a second hand shop. No, it's not a second hand shop, it's underwear shop. <laughs> and another thing, what I wanted to tell you guys, even while we were sitting up in the restaurant, on the rooftop, I was checking online to see if there are any uh, properties on sale or any properties for rent in Sijiwi. And have a look at this. I find that there are only four available properties for rent in Sijiwi on the maltapark.com website. Hmm, I need to investigate further more about this because I'm pretty sure that there are many other properties that are available for rent. But what are the prices? I think that a two or even three bedroom apartment in CGV will be roughly between 700 and 800 euros a month. So now we are out of the city of the village and we are in, going in the outskirts of uh, CGV. Slowly we are approaching next to the La Fer La Cross, but just to step for a moment, this looks like Windows desktop photo, the landscape. Okay, we arrived to the very final point of the video, guys. First, I wanted to show you a little chapel that unfortunately it's kind of falling apart slowly. There are so many cracked walls that I can see. However, let's go a bit closer on this side. I don't know what this is. It looks like a dungeon. And I can see even the metal bars. Someone is like, they try to squeeze them open either to go in or maybe like in the movies, they tried to go out. I'm happy that it was open for us to <laughs> We have this beautiful La Ferla Cross, which out from the history, I have something on my phone. Of course, I'm not Maltese, so I haven't studied history, but that's why we have Google for me to tell you that originally this cross was built in 1903. However, it was refurbished back in 1963. A replica was done of it and it was done with bronze, but considering that they were scared of erosion, they decided to redo it again and in 1984, Maltese craftsmen 
they designed the one that you're seeing at the back. And now, at the back of me, you're seeing a panoramic view of the beautiful Maltese island. We have pretty much everything. We have our village of uh, Sivijivi on one side and we have the rest of the island all around me. Guys, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm gonna tell you which are my top three from Zuri, Rendi, Sijiwi in the south part of Malta. Zuri will remain number one for me. However, number two used to be Rendi, but now Sijiwi is taking the lead and is going to be my number two. This village, it really impressed me. Beautiful, peaceful, quiet, clean. The old part, the square, it's even better than the square in Zuri. I can admit that. It was absolutely amazing. That restaurant where we stayed and the rooftop where we were having the pastizzi and the juice, it was brilliant. The vibe, the energy was outstanding. <laughs> I'm speaking a lot and I think this video is going to turn out like 16 minutes, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's for free. How many times do I need to say this in videos? <laughs> and until I see you in my next one, bye.